Well, I've been approved to drive now, so that's a good thing. I'm going to go drive by the old court and see how that's going and walk around a little bit. I'm trying to get out of the house because I've been stuck in the house for a, a little hot minute. So we're going to get to this court and just walk around. I'm not going to be like doing any workouts or anything. He hasn't cleared me to do that yet, but I have been cleared to just stand there and shoot free throws as long as I don't go up on my toes. So for the next five months, I got to change my free throw form a little bit just to make sure I'm being safe. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all when I get there. All right. So this is the self-moving tripod. It's following me as I get my water, obviously. Scoot this way so you can see the thing. But this is pretty cool, right? Um, so this is weak. Sorry for the sweat. It's super hot out here. It's Texas in August, so it's about to be 100 degrees and it's not even like 1030 yet. But this is week, about to be week six. Monday will be week six. I'm going to officially be completely out of the loop full time. Only thing is like, like this scar, bro. The scar is, it's, it's healing, but it's not healing like the way I'd, I'd like it to. I already have like a, a light complexion, so it's, it's like pink. Okay, I have a pink scar, and I'm already light skinned so it, it, it don't make it any better. But I have a sock covering most of it because um, sun exposure to scars can cause like damage. Yeah, this is the self tracking tripod. I got it from TikTok. Um, it works pretty well. I'll be using it once I'm able to get like fully back on the court. Today I'm really just shooting free throws and stuff to my mental, bruh, my mental. If you know, you know, so I'm just out here and walking more because I can walk without the boot now. Um, just being very careful because the terrain is kind of uneven out here, but I've uh, been cleared by my doctor. So shout out Dr. D, not Doofenshmirtz, but uh, let me just get up here. I can't really like squat like I want to either. That's the only hard part, but like the tracking is pretty good on here. I gotta like shoot weird too now. You probably can tell by how I'm walking, like it's not the most comfortable. And also the fact that like this left leg can like go knees over toes. This, my right leg, um, I'm almost there, but not quite there yet. The tendon is still like pretty tight. That's the only thing. That's the real reason why I kind of haven't been like, you haven't seen a lot of footage of me walking in junk because it's really, it, it's fine. Once I'm moving, I'm moving and it's fine. Lord, when I sit down for a little bit and that tendon tighten up, I got to like start doing these and like up and down to get it warm again. I have to like warm up before I walk. It's, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. It is what it is. I can't change it. All I can do is adapt to it. You, you see like how difficult this can be for someone who's used to moving shifty and super explosive. Like the ball is going out and I want to explode to go run and get it. But I kind of have to just let it go and let it be and kind of have it, the ball run away and then just walk slowly to get it because I can't explode. Like why did it stop? It stopped out. It stopped tracking me for a second. There it goes. And second nature to try to explode. And it, it doesn't work, but I had a mosquito fly in my ear just now too. Man, I can't wait to be able to fully play. Tracking, track over here. Thank you. The shot gonna be on point. It's like, hopefully it's tracking me right now. Should I play 2K25 on the channel? I don't have it yet, and I probably won't get it because I hear it's the same game as the other ones, but you know, oh well. Okay, I think I'm good. I, th I think, I don't know if I can do any more. My legs are getting tired. It's starting to hurt a little bit. But the scar is like, it's pretty much all the way healed. It's just sometimes it gets ashy and looks weird, but healed pretty well. Shout out to my orthopedic surgeon, bro. <clears throat> he, he did a, a really good job. I'm just ready to be able to like walk normal. Only reason I'm doing this is because I'm about to go on a vacation. So I'm trying to get my foot right. I still don't have any push off strength because I haven't been able, I haven't done anything to earn that. My calf is a lot less jello because I've been like walking around. And so it's, it's kind of got a little bit of the muscle coming back. Only thing is like the strength. So going up the stairs, my left leg is still doing a majority of the work. I can push off a little bit, but not enough to where like I can walk upstairs normal. So I kind of hold both guardrails and the rest of the video will be on the couch because it's it's getting hot i'm not trying to like heat stroke out here bruh who is this production company bro 
<laughs> you tell me they got drinks on deck, bro? The mic set up, bro? <laughs> it's almost like I'm a one-man show. Anyway, I'm back. I had to start the video outside, but it got hot. I was trying to do something different. Shout out newbie YouTube, bro. And shout out my, my dogs, bro. Free buckets. Go shop freebuckets.com, bro. Get you some. This is part of the March Madness collection, as you can see, with the free buckets and the bracket on it. On the back, it's kind of clean. I'll show you the back. I'll show you the back. You see the back? Yeah. It's clean. Go get you some. That's my bros, bro. Shout out Ezra and LJ. But yeah, this is week five going into six. Week six video is going to be a little different because I start physical therapy during week six on Wednesday, August the 14th. Wednesday, August 14th, I start physical therapy. It'll be my consultation appointment where they analyze the situation. They see what my goals are going forward, and then they'll design my plan for athleticism going forward. I'm able to walk without the boot. It's good stuff. Boot is no more. I've been weaning myself off the boot for the past two weeks. So week four's video, you'll see I, I have the boot. I'm talking about the boot and weaning myself off of it and coming out of the, the the wedges and things like that. This past week has been as minimal boot as possible. So I've only worn it to work. And anytime that I have to walk around the apartment, no boot, right? Straight foot. I'll get up and make sure I do my range of motion exercises, which basically is just this. You move your foot up and down as far as you can go and then in circles and then left to right and then in circle, stuff like that. Um, uh, my doctor said I could put like a boot or a resistance band under my, I mean a boot, a belt or resistance band under my foot, kind of stretch it out a little bit because it'll reset its tension over time. As long as you didn't do something traumatic to make it heal long, the scar is pretty much almost like healed up all the way. It's just at the bottom, there's a little bit of scab still left. It gets dry at times. And so it'll be like a little bit, of, a little bit crusty, a little bit ashy. Other than that, like that's really all the updates. I, I, I am kind of light skinned. So like the scar is healing pink that's really the only downside is i have like a pink line going down my leg like someone got a pink highlighter and just went like this other than that like there's minimal i can really say between weeks four and five and going into six only drastic change well these these videos won't really be on the couch as much only reason i've been on the couch is because like it's really inconvenient for me to get up go down three flights of stairs get in the car drive somewhere like i'm not doing that so that's the reason these videos have been on the couch mainly is because like well first i had the cast then i had the the boot and the wedges and then the boot the boot is no more so now it'll be a little different i can drive now as you've seen in the earlier clips and that's it's a challenge in and of itself but hey the freedom is back so i'm able to move around more and things like that let me take a swig of my drink Hold on, bro. They have caffeine-free ghost nutrition, bro. This lemon lime one, sorry, Prime. <laughs> you ain't it, bro. I will never drink a Prime again, bro. This is good. This is like Sprite without fizz in it. Nutritional facts, no caffeine, no sugar, 996 milligrams of total. Going forward, nutrition will be better. The only reason I kind of been eating junk food is because, you know, why not, bruh? I rarely eat junk food, and this is the one time where I've been able to sit down, relax, and actually enjoy it, and like watch TV, play my Nintendo Switch, things like that. But um, I just got like a shipment of stuff from my protein. Thank y'all for using my code, by the way, because that gives me a bunch of free stuff. It also gives y'all a discount, which is like 30 or 40% off. Use code Christopher R40. It'll be here on the screen somewhere, spelled the right way. Don't put a PH. That's not me. They not like us. I'm Christopher with an F. Get it right. I got a, a bunch of stuff. I'll show you some of it here. Like I got protein pancake mix and like caffeine free pre-workout. It's just like an NO2 supplement. It helps with like vascularity and blood flow. If you if you can't have caffeine and you need like a, a pre-workout or get you going, they have plenty of options. Just make sure to consult with your healthcare um, provider before you indulge in any caffeine or any type of pre-workout or things like that. I'm not your doctor. Don't put that on me, bro. Free shirts, socks. I got a sweatsuit things like that just be sure to use that code and get your uh, discount also in the lab.tv i'm also an affiliate with so use code chris can hoop at checkout get five dollars off um, of all of your orders it's an unlimited code so keep using that that also gives me a percentage and helps support the channel as well and then that's really all i got for you i i, <laughs> I probably have discounts to other stuff that i'm just forgetting at the moment 
but um, be sure to use those that helps me helps the channel helps you out because you get a discount as well the beaker shirts by in the lab are back for a limited time they're they're gonna sell out pretty quick silent ball 3.0 is out right now the run tmc collection is out the boruto stuff is still out make sure you go check those out get your discount free buckets uh they're always uh uh running out of stock it's not me being a hater bro but they're running out of stock because this is like quality material like do you see this bro like this is like uh it's better than a nike dry fit to me and i'm not just like hyping it up because that's the bros but this is like bro this is quality this is quality this is what quality the little bit this is what quality looks like nike um but yeah that's all the updates i have for this week it's 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 a slow week i'm just really learning to walk without a limp and make sure i stretch out the achilles because it's still a little bit tight i can't walk as normal because as soon as i get to that point where your knees kind of come in front of your toes it's tight so i can't really stretch past that point but i'll be working on that as well as like strengthening once i get into physical therapy um should be fun that's all i got for you like comment subscribe all that good stuff um uh, be sure to check out all the supplemental stuff below like the subscribe link make sure you hit that um all my discount codes and the other videos in this road to recovery playlist as well as journey to the drop off which will be somewhere on the end screen like here you'll have journey to the drop off road to recovery and then the subscribe button go ahead and hit that click that bell so you know when to post and yeah see, that's all i got bro my lawyer said i had to be here today so in order to avoid court i had to show up today bail me out bro i'm blinking twice because i need help